What's up everyone, this is Cybernet, and today we're going to open up a uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, Judgment of the Light booster box for you guys. So yeah, this is a uh, first edition booster box, and I like too how this one says, uh, Synchros are back. Because before this, we really didn't see any Synchro monster for a while in Zexel. So, let's go on ahead, open this up, and uh, see what we can get from it. Of course, this is a set where you can get Ghost Rares and uh, Ultimate Rares, I believe, too. So, I'm, that's what I'm kind of hoping for, just because our uh, packs these days just don't have those rarities. And of course, this being an older set, obviously, you're not guaranteed a holo per pack or anything like that. Have to work for our holos today. <laughs> and of course, too, in case people are wondering, got this from uh, Big Collectibles, so be sure to check them out. I will have a link in the description as well. Hey, anyway, let's go ahead and start opening up our packs. I think it's Star Eater. That's the ghost in this. I'd love to get that. That'd be awesome. We got Googly Eyes. Always like the name of him. Have Archfiend Calvary. For our rare. Also, hopefully the microphone setup sounds pretty good. I've, I'm testing out a different setup, and uh, it sounded a lot better to me. But uh, we'll just have to see what happens when you know gets uploaded and everything else. Have Archfiend uh, Palabrith rare, and we got a Trap Trix uh, Trap Hold Nightmare. Okay, for a second I couldn't tell that was holographic, <laughs> but I remember that it was a super rare. Yeah, I remember when there's a lot of hype around this card too. It, like ended up being. I don't know, twenty or thirty dollar card instantly. I don't even know what the price of it is now. I'm sure it's not that much, but uh, still really cool. I remember that hype though. There for a while, it was like overnight. At least we already got a super rare. Oh, <laughs> for a second I thought we got the same one. Okay, <laughs> they look just alike. Uh, we have Torbus uh, Two Forbidden Realms rare and Vigente Susano. For an ultra rare, now that looks awesome. I always thought he had a really cool design to him. Kind of even looks like a, a Digimon or something to me. I don't know. It just looks really cool. So that is awesome. First edition as well. I think he's also an ultimate rare in this set. I'd love to get one as an ultimate rare. And also, I think uh, Utopia Victory is also an ultimate rare. So that's another one I wouldn't mind seeing. Maybe we'll get something like that. We have Brotherhood of the Fire Fist, uh, Kieran. Make a Phantom Beast, even. On that one. Another go uh, googly eyes. Blah, I can't say it now. <laughs> yeah, he seems to always be like at the front of the packs. Bujingi Crane. Right, what else we have here? See reception, one of the trap tricks. And we have a Dark ZW a Chimera Cloud. Not bad. I like the different ZW cards, so. We did make a couple more of them though. Let's see, oh, there we go. Make sure it focused. We have a Moondance Ritual for rare and a Herald of Pure Light. There we go, we got a super rare. That's cool, I haven't seen this card in a while either. So that's pretty awesome looking. I wonder when we're going to see a Herald uh, Link Monster, by the way. I feel like they're going to do that sometimes. Maybe it'll be like in that pack. Uh, of course, we'll see. They'll probably announce it like after I say this or something. But <laughs> it'd be cool if it was in that uh, Link pack that we're, uh, well, Japan's getting. We'll get it at some point. We have Archie Emperor, the uh, First Lord of Horror. And off. Oh, for a second, I thought maybe we had a hollow after that. Fencing Fire Ferret. And we have a number 104 Masquerade. It's pretty cool rare. It's a number monster, so can't really go wrong with that. Another one of the Bujin monsters. Uh, Trap Trace uh, Marimelo. So, I, I don't think I've ever pronounced this card correctly, but hopefully that's close enough. Rare. You guys can see the names. So I'm not too worried about that, especially these days. I'm just kind of like, you know. Especially with uh, Card Fight on my other channel. Like, seriously, there's a lot of <laughs> weird names. I'm finally just like, you know what? <laughs> close enough. Can't feel bad about it all the time. Number 102, Starship Century, and I think we have something. It's a Synchro Monster, 
And it is uh, Mistbird uh, Colossalus. Not bad. That is a uh, super rare. I that card's first now. I think I remember like doing a video about it. It's a pretty cool Synchro. I remember I was just mainly happy to see Synchro Monsters again. Like I said, from the front of the box, it actually says Synchros are back. So that's kind of a big deal. Because there's nothing but Xyz before that on Zexel. Yellow Dustin, uh, Boudre Incarnation, and I think we have an Ultimate Rare. What do we have? Star Eater, Ultimate Rare. Now that is awesome. I was hoping that's what it was. I was thinking that, or of course, like I said, uh, get uh, Susano like that would be amazing as well. But we actually got Star Eater First Edition Ultimate Rare. Now that looks just freaking epic too. And a lot of people might be going after this card again too because of that new uh, Crystron Link Monster. It really does help out like anything that uses Synchro Monsters and the, you know, with new links and all that. It helps them out a ton. So it has made me wonder about some of these other Synchro Monsters like Star Eater, if they might be uh, pretty usable in the future. But either way, that just looks awesome. Well, we got an Ultimate Rare. I don't think I've ever got an Ultimate Rare of Star Eater. I think I got a Ghost Rare. But not Ultimate, so that's cool. Yellow Dustin again. Then we have a Trap Trix uh, Ad Adtrax. The right side of the box has some really good cards in it. I'm trying to think even what the secret rares are from this set. Again, I'm kind of confused. We have Brother of the Fire Fist Boar. Maybe we'll also get a Star Eater secret rare, because I think it's also a secret in this set if I remember correctly. Get like every form to it. That'd be funny. I would not be upset about that, that's for sure. V Salamander. And we have Cockadoodle Doo. <laughs> I love this card's name. It's actually pretty good, or it was good there for a while. I hadn't really seen this card being used lately, but it'd be hilarious to see it come back, just because, like I said, that name is awesome. And it's actually a pretty good uh, tuner monster as well. So there's an Ultra Rare for us. More of the defense robots, super defense robots, I should say. Have a tour bus to Forbidden Realms. Flying Sea. I hope we get a Utopia Victory. But I don't know now. Another googly eyes. I'm telling you, he's almost like always the front card. Uh, Mecha Phantom Beast uh, War uh, Blue Ren. And I think we have something. It is uh, number uh, Chaos uh, 104 Umbral Horror Masquerade. So yeah, there we go. I was wondering if it was something, because there are some common Xyz, as you guys have been seeing, but uh, at least we got a super rare number monster as well. Almost done with the opening. Still no secret rare. I'm wondering what we could get. Archfiend of Labyrinth. And see, yeah. <laughs> For a second I thought maybe I had something, because yeah, there are a couple of uh, common Xyz. Let's see, now Trap Trace Bujini Crane for a rare, and oh, <laughs> I keep thinking like it's going to be the next pack that's going to have uh, a secret rare in it. Another one of Turtle. We have a uh, number 102 uh, Star Seraph Century for a rare. Not bad. I like the design of him too. Like a lot of the number monsters that were in the set just look really cool. Kind of look like angels or demons kind of thing. I don't know. I just like their designs. Okay, it's focusing. There we go. Okay, for a second, it didn't seem like it was focusing. We have Archfiend Calvary for a rare and Galaxy Serpent. That's cool. Uh, super rare. First edition and everything, too. That was the uh, sneak preview card, too, for the set, by the way, in case you guys have forgotten. Still awesome. It's actually a pretty good uh, Tuner Monster as well. It's been reprinted a couple of times now, but either way, having a first issue and super rare, I'll use that. I think I still have my sneak preview ones as well.
And uh, let's say we have Corrupted Keys for a rare, and Noble Knight Driston. There we go. Okay, that's a good secret to get, especially for me. I mean, I like Noble Knights. So, first edition Driston, that looks awesome. So, yeah, I forgot that he was actually in the set, because I was trying to think, okay, what are the secret rares? Because, like I said, I get this set confused a lot with, uh, uh, which other one? Order of Chaos, I guess, because they both have, like, Chaos Origin of Utopia. And uh, even, like, Shadow Spectres sometimes. I don't know why, but, uh, yeah, either way. We got a good Seeker Rare and uh, one that I definitely don't mind getting. I mean, it's a noble night, like I said. So I'm glad we got a Seeker Rare. I was getting a little bit worried about that anyway. <laughs> we might not get one. Only a couple of packs left. I have no idea if we're missing any hollows. We'll just have to see. Underworld uh, Fighter uh, Balmog. I always thought he was really cool looking. And last pack. What can we end with? Can we end with the hollow? I can say that in this unboxing, so let's see. End with a ghost rare. Okay, might be a little too greedy. Can't tell me that wouldn't be epic, though. I mean, come on. We have Archfiend Harris, and... Aw, oh, unfortunately, we didn't end with a hollow, but you know what? I think we did really good from this box. I mean, I got an ultimate rare, so that was enough pretty much to make me happy with this box because you can't get ultimate rares anymore unless it's from the OTS packs or Astral packs and that kind of stuff. So, really cool to see that we got uh, one of my favorite cards, too, a, a Noble Knight. Uh, it's a really cool secret rare, and I still have, like, more than a place of these just because I've been saving all my Noble Knights, it seems like. Galaxy Serpent, like I said, that's another really good one. Star Eater, really happy about that, like I said, ultimate rare. So, I mean, <laughs> in my opinion, that's going to be good no matter. And even we got a Bujinte Susano. I know he's, of course, on the front of his own Mega Ten, but I kind of like the Ultra Rare version a little bit better. So, yep, there we go. That's the opening. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Just something kind of random. So, of course, uh, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to hit that like button. It helps out a ton. Subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! openings and news and other Yu-Gi-Oh! related videos as well. And also, uh, leave a comment. Tell me the openings you guys want to see in the future. If there's, like, another uh, booster box you'd like to see, an older one from even, like, Zexel or... 5Ds, GX, I don't know. Just uh, give me some different requests on cards you guys want to see and different openings, and I will catch you guys later. See you.